people, man. It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. We good with the people, man. How is y'all doing on this Motor Mouth Monday, man? You say Motor Mouth Monday? What you talking about? Uh, you, you, you know, man. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna get into it. But before we do that, we good people like hee hee ha ha, man. Ken in the pen. All my folks incarcerated. All my folks who ain't bruh, around this world, man. You know what I'm talking about? Keep their head up. Keep pushing. We gonna get through. Uh, we gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? From the bottom of that thing to the top of that thing, man. Keep pushing. Hey, we gonna get through it to get to it, man. Yeah, man. Just uh, shout out all the penitentiaries in the world, man. Y'all know my disclaimer. Shout out to uh, just everybody around the world, man. Worldwide INC, worldwide incorporated, worldwide. What that mean, bro? Hey, everybody, bro. Everybody included, man. But yeah, man. I don't promote no drug usage. I don't promote no drug sellage. No alcohol consumption. I don't promote no violence. I don't promote no domestic violence. I don't promote no crime. I don't promote no negativity. Hey, on to my. Yeah, man. But I don't promote nothing, folk. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. Uh, I'm not prejudiced. I ain't got nothing against the little people. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, man. I mean, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. You know what I'm talking about? I love everybody. Uh, I don't promote nothing. All I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Because we just don't know how much of it we have, young ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm talking about, man? Go get that stick up in stores now, man. You know what I'm talking about? Also in stores. Funk or die trying. You know what I'm talking about, man? Y'all make sure y'all go get that, man. But yeah, people, uh, man, what's good with the people, man? Y'all like that Super Bowl, man? Oh, man, it was cracking. I ain't gonna lie, it was cracking, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, shit, I've been waiting for this whole time. I thought that nigga was But yeah, man, Motor Mouth Monday. They say, bro, what is you talking about? I know y'all hold on. Oh man, what's good with it, man? Y'all know how to go get oh that ribbon uh caramel crunch frap. You know what I'm talking about, man? That ribbon car uh that ribbon caramel crunch frap. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to everybody who don't like the jog but still running their mouth. <sighs> One more lap. <laughs> uh, I see you fucking, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? I say, but yeah, man, what's good, man? What we doing? What we doing? Man? What the fuck? I don't know what I did with it, man. What the fuck did I do? I don't know. The fuck is I said, bro, you always come to this camera with technical difficulties, man. Bro, be moving around. Bro, running them people. I don't even know what I did with that motherfucker, bro. I don't know what I did with it. There go right there, man. But man, what's good with the people? They say, bro, what is you talking about, man? Come on with it, spit it out. You feel what I'm saying? Oh man, nothing much. Uh, motor mouth Monday. You say, bro, here you go again. What is you talking about? Just the motor mouth, motherfucker. Motherfucker always talking. You know what I'm talking about? Motor mouth. They say, bro, what's wrong with a motor mouth, motherfucker? It ain't nothing because you got you kind of got two kind of motor mouth, motherfuckers, bro. You do. And uh, one of them, you that you get tired of it. You got the motor mouth who actually know what he's talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Like motherfucker who be into politics and might even be sports and shit. You get what I'm saying? And they really know what they're talking about. They just talk too much. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You get tired of that shit sometimes. Every time you see this motherfucker, you, you know what I'm talking about? Then you got the you got the motor mouth motherfucker that uh the other kind that don't know what the fuck they talking about. You get what I'm saying? But they always running their mouth. You say, bro, what does that have to do with anything? Because we getting into a real dangerous, uh, we getting into a real dangerous waters. Say, bro, how are we getting into dangerous waters? 
because once again, nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Once again, man, you got these motherfuckers, really more motherfuckers, you get what I'm saying? That don't know what the fuck they talking about. Do you dig what I'm saying? And these be the motherfuckers lightweight that be popular. That y'all be making popular, bro. So you just think we creating a world of following motherfuckers who don't know what they talking about. That ain't never good. You know what I'm talking about? It's just like that Martin Luther King shit. I said that shit three years ago, bro. I don't even know what video I said it on, though. You feel me? I don't even know what video I said it on. But that shit was bullshit as a motherfucker. Nigga just, <laughs> yeah, nigga just segregated the people, man. They ain't about that shit. <coughs> but I've been, uh, <coughs> it's gonna be fucked up, bro, because you don't get it yet, though. But we are about to create this world of where I say, bro, what is nah, man? I just been in my little spot, want to be. I'll be coming to this motherfucker when it's, uh, I think I'm finna go on that motherfucker. They just invited me to a lie. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I told you the only kind of one people lie that I, I went to. I kind of grew on me, so I kind of go fuck with they shit. You know what I'm talking about? They be, uh, they be a good lie or whatnot, but I don't, I don't, uh, I normally just come through. That's a TikTok shit. That's some TikTok shit, though. But I normally just go through, show my love, man. If your shit pop up on there, man, I'm going to tap on there, man. I'm going to say what's good with the people, and I'm going to shout everybody out in the chat. You know what I'm talking about? Depending on what's going on, I might stick around for a while. But I just got love to show to everybody, man. I ain't going to be tripping off that shit. Ugh. Cause I understand that shit. I understood if everybody just did that shit. We might could get something going. You know what I'm talking about? But back to Motor Mouth uh, Monday, folks. Like, I told you we passed so much bad game around. Especially to these to these the, the new uh nephews and little niecey poos and shit. Y'all don't even see it. But y'all got them motherfuckers talking too much. Them motherfuckers is motor mouse. Because them motherfuckers coming up here talking about life when they ain't even lived it. And I don't think y'all get that. I think they playing psyche. Y'all sitting up here taking perspective. Not saying because you young or something, bruh, that you do not know what's going on. That ain't what I'm saying, bruh. That ain't what I'm saying at all. You could be a smart-ass youngster. You know what I'm talking about? You could be a smart-ass motherfucker, bruh. You could be a smart-ass and easy pool all up. But you coming up there letting them talk with their child ass mind. And you sitting here agreeing with this shit, bro. You know what I'm talking about? These kids and shit. Once again, not saying just because you a kid, you don't know nothing. But they be trying to give real life facts and shit. You ain't even live that long, bro. So it's a lot of times they be up, they be sitting up there. And I'm going to tell you what the little Neezy Poos and the nephews got good. It's talking about that kid shit. And what I noticed is. Like, uh, I done ran into a lot of little niecey poos and nephews, and they be talking about how you raised your kid, because apparently, and these, the, like, good nephews, these one of these kids and shit that probably didn't get everything, they won't even know they had everything, you know what I'm talking about? So they always getting up here talking about how you should treat their kids, and I understand they probably doing that because they just come up out of childhood, and they disagree with their parents about a lot of shit, but these niggas be crazy, bruh, the shit, they be actually... Some old bad game. They be passing down some motherfucking game to where you supposed to be friends with your kids, bro. And I noticed that. They always uh, talking about, like, like a child. Like, you you supposed to, uh, I don't know, nigga. Be friends with your kids or something, bro. They be trying to wonder, like, they be, they be talking like, like, parentship is a dictatorship, and it shouldn't just be what the fucking parent want. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the parent supposed to consult with the kid. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, man. 
And that's why y'all got these motherfuckers out here feeling they can do anything at any age. Like, nothing's inappropriate to kids now. It's not. So y'all be seeing motherfuckers at elementary schools and shit with pink and red wigs and all kind of crazy shit. That's cool for a grown person. But the little baby got on wigs and that shit is unnecessary, folks. You, like, you got to let your kid be a kid. But then you got to look at, uh... A lot of babies is having kids too, so they don't really know no better. But uh, motor mouth. You know, somebody gonna say, "Bro, you a motor mouth?" All right. All right, tore my ass up this weekend too, man. Why they could kill me? <laughs> that shit was hella funny, man. I ain't bullshit with you. I say, like, "Bro, you be sitting up there, man, talking." Oh, uh, no, I ain't told you. I ain't even really positive. You say, man, you be <laughs> sitting up here talking all that shit, man. After all that shit, you, <laughs> you didn't sit around here and did. <laughs> hey, bro, you act like you ain't sat around here. It, it ain't that, though, bro. It ain't that. I call you. I, I did, uh, hell yeah. I did my fair share of shit, and I didn't. But at the same time, bro, it's, uh, you got to stop. Now, you decide when you got to stop, but at some point, you got to stop with that shit that the, see, because with, uh, what motherfuckers don't understand, everything I did, I got punished for, bro. I was in the penitentiary, so that's how I learned my lesson. I was paying my dues to the gang then, you know what I'm talking about? That's how I learned my lesson, bro. Nigga, I done damn near been in jail more than anybody around this bitch. You get what I'm saying? When I'm talking about my turf. When it comes to that shit, like me, Ken... Z, T1, uh, AL. But that shit ain't cool. You get what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool. So it's like I learned my lesson from that shit, bro. I actually got tired of going to jail, man. I did, bro. And I wasn't one of them niggas that be getting them little jokes, bro. They was taking my ass up off this motherfucking nigga for chunks. You know what I'm talking about? I got myself taken up off this motherfucker for chunks. But I ain't, I ain't really get spared like that. Every time I went in, nigga, I got shipped. But just, uh, like I said, it's all kind of motor mouth shit. But I ain't just talking about that, folks. I'm not. Not just the little nephews, but if you see what's going on, bro, these is, y'all creating hell of them little sensitive nephews. Like, them niggas don't even talk with bass in their voice no more, bro. Like, everybody just sound like a nerd. Come on, bro. Bro. Like, I told you about <laughs> when I was watching motherfuckers getting fucked up and talking that shit. That nigga jumped up like he was all tough, thought he was stealing his phone, man. White boy cracked his motherfucking ass. And then that nigga, <laughs> he sat right there and tried to act like the white boy was an animal or something. Motor mouth Monday, folks. And what's crazy is, y'all get so used to, uh, like, being in the virtual world or whoever you hang around, y'all get so used of, to playing like that. You know what I'm talking about? Running your mouth, being disrespectful and shit, talking because, like, we just on this phone. Oh, you can get up here and talk with hella aggression and look like you serious, bro. Right, like, all right. You only could do that shit for so long, though, folks. You can. You only can do that shit for so long. Motor Mouth Monday, bruh. Motor Mouth Monday, man. You can't do that shit in the real world. As he found out, he tried to get up, act like he was with hella aggressions. You know, like motherfucker talking about what they with this shit. Because this is the perception that they uh, give y'all on this motherfucking computer. Like, you can act like you're tough. Like, you can get up there, mean mug, and tell a motherfucker, fuck you, and all that shit, bruh. And the real man, white boy, took off on his ass so quick. Cracked him, and as soon as he cracked him, nigga, all the little bitch came up out that nigga, folks. He didn't try to defend himself. I told you, <laughs> like, niggas don't, when they be running into that shit for real, nigga don't even be trying to defend themselves, folks. That's what I'm like. Y'all not gonna get this, but uh, being a black belt in karate has no use to a scary motherfucker. You could be a black belt in karate, bro. If you scary, you're not even gonna use that shit. You're not. 
Y'all don't under y'all don't, don't think y'all understand the difference between people with this shit and people just talking. For real. I don't think y'all know the difference. I think y'all think that you can just 42 fake your way through like real life events and shit. Cause y'all get so used to this virtual world and shit, and you can just talk to niggas that ain't gonna see you and shit. So y'all just put yourself in the state of doing that shit all day. Then that shit don't leave you. So you been bumped into a motherfucker in the real world and tried the same tactics and got yourself hurt a little bit. Motor mouth Monday. And I, I'm telling you, because I used to do that shit all the time. Boy, if you just knew how many motherfuckers' nerves I get on. But I was one of the motherfuckers as a youngster, bro. I was always talking. Man, I didn't talk myself into so much shit. That didn't even have to be, bro. <laughs> I didn't talk myself into so much shit, bro. I ain't lying with you. But just motor mouth, man. They getting everybody in the wrong conversation. Oh, we was gonna name this motherfucker something else. I started with meaningless. But I'm gonna say that one for a later date. You feel me? I'm gonna say that one for a later date. But uh we be playing, bro. Motor mouth shit. They got everybody hella sensitive into these conversations. And the reason why this shit, that shit ain't good right there, all them felonious ass conversations and shit. The the reason why that shit is not good, bro. Because they got you around talking about shit that don't even have nothing to do with you. You get what I'm saying? So you just running around looking for the next conversation to try to prove a point or something. Somebody going to say, bro, you always say that. But it do because you don't see yourself, bro. You don't. You don't see yourself. And most of y'all come to the forefront. What sense do it make for a motherfucker who don't have a girlfriend or have a bitch, don't even got no, you know what I'm talking about? Like, no bitches you could just call up and, you know what I'm talking about, you ain't even got that, bro. What, what, what sense does it make for them type of motherfuckers to be in a conversation about what they think about a relationship or marriage? You finna get a singles person perspective on your relationship. What sense does that make, folks? I don't even think y'all, I, I don't think that y'all really understand shit. You just ready, you just ready to hear whatever you agree with. I told y'all, everything you agree with, you scream facts. But another motherfucker could be really telling the truth, and you're going to call it hate. Because them ain't facts to you. Because you disagree with it, now it ain't facts. And that's all this shit be right now, white white man. I ain't lying to you. I ain't lying to you, man. That's all that should be. Like last night. We gonna take last night, for instance, bro. <clears throat> and in the world, we got this bad. We got this beyond bad. They just started a whole worldly conversation. We just got this overly bad. The nerd bitches and niggas have started a worldly conversation about somebody else's wife and somebody else's husband. Now, you sitting up here talking about what was inappropriate, about a nigga you don't fuck with or about a bitch you don't fuck with. You get what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of y'all don't have people. For that reason right there. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm going to tell you this until the day I leave this motherfucker. You have more more than enough right, folks, to get up and uh, live your life. You have more. Like, that's what you was put here to do is live your life. But somehow they getting you out of that now. They getting you out of even living your life and having an opinion on everybody else's. I do motor mouth. But I tell you all them words they use, everything, content, and all that shit, they, it ain't, folks. Everything ain't content. That's just something you agree with and everybody's saying. So you're going to go ahead and squeeze up in that box too. Because you know what? If a motherfucker came and jumped on your mama, 
your mama 80 years old and three, four motherfuckers came and jumped on her and like she was getting jumped into a gang or something. You feel me? And then they start posting that shit. You wouldn't think that was content. No, you wouldn't think that was content. You'll be calling motherfuckers all kind of cowards and all kind of shit and why motherfuckers put, you wouldn't think that's content. But the motherfucker who was recording that shit and just put it uh, for the world to see your mama getting jumped on, you'll have, uh, you'll have some feelings about that nigga right there. Yeah, you'll have some feelings about that nigga right there. Everything ain't content. You just saying that shit because that shit don't apply to you. And that's what we do as people. For real. But we really be out here on some motor mouth shit. We be trying to break the story. We be trying to tell you the first thing that uh that happened that you ain't heard. We be trying to rest and tell you that shit. And that's cool if you do that, man. And once again, I ain't up here trying to tell you what to do. You got the right to do any motherfucking thing you want to. My point is just understand what the fuck you doing. Before you get inside that shit with that motor mouth shit. And then when that motor mouth shit bring you to a consequence, now you act like you don't understand what's going on. You get what I'm saying? Then you don't understand what's going on. Ugh, I can tell you what's going on. You running your motherfucking mouth. And it's only a... It's only a, a, a matter of time before you run that motherfucker. You let that motherfucker run you right into some mess. We talk too much about the wrong shit. We do. But that just killed me all this morning. I woke up ready to, uh, you know, I'm a big sports, uh, sports person. So I was, I was waking up. Expecting to hear the, uh, like the, the day after the game, what everybody was trying to be saying about the, uh, the Super Bowl. But why, when I get on my motherfucking feed, uh, it's a thousand motherfucking some niggas, too. I ain't even seen no bitch channel, uh, but it was just all niggas, bro complaining about this bitch and that's what's wrong with y'all i swear to god like y'all always trying to say something wrong with a bitch and y'all always trying to say something wrong with a nigga right no it's something wrong with you that's where something wrong with you you know what i'm talking about y'all know y'all think i'm playing when i be telling you it's borderline mental health issues to be sitting up here complaining about a nigga or a bitch that's not yours. See, because what, what we are good for in these days, we try to tell you why you should be mad. It ain't none of our business. Just like the nigga who was lying to the hoes. You know what I'm talking about? As soon as that shit went bad, all the bitches that was just kissing this nigga ass for the last two, three years, or however long that nigga was lying to them hoes, it was all them bitches that was agreeing with that nigga telling his wife now first of all y'all was listening to that nigga because you didn't have no man so since then nobody else want to tell you what you wanted to hear in the real world you was watching this nigga specifically because you didn't have a man you get what i'm saying and the day this nigga got caught up in the bullshit all you hoes that didn't have a man told his wife what she should do with her man you hold something straight out of comic book man so all you bitches that was looking at this nigga because you didn't have a man and you wanted to hear all the goodness, all the goodness. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all wanted somebody to tell you with nothing wrong with your sis. Just because you fat, you can still find a man in your dreams. Because somehow the man in your dreams like fat people. Y'all crazy as a motherfucker with that shit, man. Something straight out of the comic book, bitch. <laughs> Y'all crazy as a motherfucker. And as soon, and I mean as soon uh, as that nigga got caught up in that shit, all you lonely bitches start telling this nigga wife what she should do. Even though you don't have a man of your own. Now you an expert on telling the bitch what to do. Y'all crazy as a motherfucker. Y'all not, y'all not gonna ever understand that though. But when I woke up this morning listening to here, about the Super Bowl and all that shit. 
It's a million niggas up here in the start of the conversation in the world about Alicia Keys being out of pocket because she married. I don't even think y'all understand life. I don't. I don't even think y'all understand how many people in this world really not married. That shit only means something to y'all. You know what I'm talking about? And they done told you that was important. Y'all let it. I told you y'all let this how goofy y'all is, folks. Y'all let a nigga come around this motherfucker who wasn't married. He wouldn't marry himself and give y'all marital advice. Told you your relationship didn't mean nothing if you wasn't engaged or married. And he was neither one. But just because y'all be wanting to hear something, y'all be wanting to hear people tell y'all some shit that y'all agree with talk so you can say facts and all that shit. Y'all don't even be listening to shit. Y'all really don't be listening. You get what I'm saying? And that's how you always get got. Because you really don't be listening. On some real shit. Y'all don't be listening. That's how people always run their game on you. Because you're not listening. That's why you always easy to get. You think other people don't gauge that shit? You think people in your real life don't come around you and realize you hella goofy? And you'll just listen to anything you want to hear? You don't. Then you get to crying in the end. Talking about somebody that got you. But you, you wouldn't listen in the first place. You got yourself. But that was just, uh, I don't know. I was uh, bewildered. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I was bewildered. Because I just didn't understand how niggas that's not married they self or got a bitch they self tell a motherfucker what's appropriate in a marriage. And it ain't even about a marriage. It's whatever, whatever them people got in their marriage. And that's another thing we good for. <clears throat> we always telling somebody how, just like when a white nigga let the nigga fuck his bitch. And everybody was, man, the bitch is a prostitute from the jump. Nigga, the bitch do porn. There's somehow it's supposed to be some honor amongst that. Man, them people was getting their money, man. And y'all finna argue with that. These people is porn stars. <laughs> y'all crazy as a motherfucker. Because y'all always trying to tell people what you wouldn't do. Motor Mouth Monday. You feel me? Just like I had to tell a square ass nigga when I did my thing, man. You niggas got too many questions, niggas, and you bitches. Y'all got too many motherfucking questions like the motherfucking uh, police. It ain't no doubt about it. Y'all got too many motherfucking questions just like the police. You say, what you mean by that, bro? Y'all always come around and think that whatever somebody else does has to make sense to you. And it doesn't. Whatever somebody does, they did it because it made sense to them. It doesn't have to make sense to you. You don't get to dictate and control everything, but that's the state they have the people in now, motor mouth. So we always running around like hoes talking about we finna boycott somebody, counsel somebody or something. Y'all yeah. crazy as a motherfucker. Y'all is, man. I ain't never seen y'all run not one of them campaigns for nobody else. I don't. It's like black people just pick on black people. It is. And they gonna have something to say about it. anything you do. Motor Mouth Monday. Y'all so lonely, you ain't got y'all. Y'all so lonely. Y'all. Then like, y'all be so lonely. It's like y'all be trying to start conflict or some kind of conversation in other people's lives because you lonely. So now, because you don't have nobody or nothing to do because of the way you is, somehow you want these other people who happy in their own way to do what you would do with your lonely, miserable ass because you wouldn't accept nothing like that. That just shows what kind of square ass niggas and bitches you is. You married to a motherfucking performer, nigga. And you will have a problem. Y'all saw y'all insecurities from the jump. It's a problem with a motherfucker. Man, do you understand? <clears throat> if you get a disloyal bitch or a disloyal nigga, it don't matter who they is. That's just the person they is. Nigga, they disloyal. You get what I'm saying? So if you got that kind of person, they're going to be disloyal, period. Whether they on stage or not, folks. They somewhere else doing some disloyal shit. That's what they doing. But somehow, y'all felt that was funny and this shit not happened and all that shit, even though y'all not fucking with neither one of them people. 
And you can see why y'all don't got people. Because you one of the motherfuckers that would be married. <clears throat> and a nigga would have to come home and argue with you about his performance. Because he was too close to a bitch or he y'all goofy. And that's why y'all don't never like last with people. That's why you can't find nobody. Because you always got a way. Some, somebody always has to do what you want them to do. You get what I'm saying? So a motherfucker with you, that's why you just know you motherfuckers lonely. So a motherfucker with you, you 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 going around all day. <clears throat> this is how you treat your relationship. You go around all day finding shit disrespectful or something. Especially you bitches. I'm trying to give you some game real quick, sis. And that's why a lot of y'all just don't have niggas. And this is what they really teaching y'all to do, motor mouth. That's why I told y'all don't listen to these people. It's bad game, bro. Uh -uh. They put all that motherfucking shit in your head. So now whoever you come in contact with, you playing the game. You sitting around. You not sitting around enjoying the person you got. You ain't sitting around trying to come to a build and come to a conclusion with the person you got, right? No, you not doing that. You sitting around the motherfucking niggas and bitches. Y'all sitting around the motherfucker all day playing. Listening out for this shit these people told you to listen out for. If they go to the bathroom on their phone, they doing all this shit, bro. They didn't put that thought in your head. So the person that they had a problem with doing that shit that you don't fuck with, now you watching your person for that shit. Your nigga just might like looking at YouTube or something while he taking the shit. But they didn't put a thought in your, your head if a nigga or a bitch take their phone to the bathroom, that's sneaky. Y'all crazy, folks. Something straight out of comic book. Motor mouth motherfucker, though. Motor mouth Monday. You talk way more than you listen. You just talk way more than you listen. Because if you listen, you'll realize half the shit you do don't even make sense. You'll realize half the motherfuckers you're talking to or uh, you listening to that, that's able to influence your mind, you'll realize that shit full of shit. It just do. I'm one of them niggas. As soon as you say something, man, my mind processed that shit so fast. No, this don't even make no sense, folks. You can't get me with that. <laughs> you just can't, bro. That shit don't be making no sense. Like a motherfucker told y'all what high value is. So y'all actually coming around here. Now, this nigga made that shit up. And if you understood that, you understood that y'all walk, you, you walking around playing games. A nigga gave y'all a definition of his, of his definition. His, that ain't what the word means. That's his definition. That's just like me telling you the definition of love is going upside your head. That wouldn't make no sense to you. It wouldn't. But y'all let a motherfucker now, everybody out here trying to live up to an invisible standard. Do you get what I'm saying? You don't realize this nigga, I ain't even got nothing against him. But it be like, sometimes that shit do kind of get a nigga hot. Because y'all don't even realize... <clears throat> A motherfucker just made up a com uh you he just made up some shit that couldn't be argued because he made it up. So he could tell you, do you realize that the that shit he talking about is that shit is like two percent in the world. Two percent in the world, bruh. So a motherfucker got you. This is just how goofy y'all is. A motherfucker got you up here arguing about a fairy tale, folks. This motherfucker is talking about 2%. The shit he talking about is 2% in the world. So how could you ever win that argument, bro? You damn near... You ain't. You ain't gonna never win that argument, man. You always gonna look silly and you always gonna look stupid. Because you an ordinary motherfucker. And that's what kind of got this shit all over the place, too. Because it became a game. Now, but that's why you, you see all these hoes sitting around here talking about they want a high-value man. I swear. I swear, that shit started the game. A high value man, high value man, bro. And what y'all get, the motherfuckers right there don't even be married, man. Not all of them niggas just high class tricks, bro. Why do you think niggas who be rich and they be tricking and shit, why do you think they have their own philosophy? Yeah, you're rich. A woman isn't nothing. 
Yeah, please. So if you wasn't rich, then what? Y'all just listen to anything, man. Motor Mouth Monday. Y'all let anybody come around here and tell y'all anything, and you'll repeat that shit right now without even uh, knowing what that shit mean. You would, just like the Bible. You know how many motherfuckers I know for real that sit here and argue about what it said in the Bible, and they never read the Bible? <clears throat> you got to be able to think for yourself, people. Y'all better stop running around here just saying what everybody's saying, folks. Because y'all act like that's real shit now. Do y'all realize they doing fake shit now? Do you? I don't think you do. Do you realize they doing fake ass shit right now? I don't think you do. You just going around repeating it. And the way they got y'all today is everybody. So you got all these people around here, nerds on fuck shit. That's how this fuck shit even getting popular. So y'all got all these nerds around here, and y'all actually believe in your head. If everybody share the same, uh, I don't even know the word, consensus, if that's the right word. You know how I am with my vocabulary. If everybody share the same belief, like that means something. Why are you thinking so many motherfuckers around here screaming facts? Is this fake ass shit going on? I'm telling you. These niggas scream facts on a nigga getting caught up with some dope and told on everybody. And then these niggas sitting up here, ain't none one of these niggas ever been to jail, ain't none of these niggas ever sold dope, none of that shit. But this is the conversation they having. And they trying to convince the people that the, the nigga who told, he wasn't wrong. Because, once again, motor mouth shit. Talking about shit you don't know nothing about. So you done told the people, this nigga was involved in selling all these keys and shit like that. But when he got caught, he was supposed to tell on the gang because why do time for somebody else when, first of all, you doing time for yourself? Whether you was grinding for somebody or not, because ain't nobody made you grind. So, first of all, that was you. That was you. You got caught whether it was them people dope or not. You were selling it. And <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You were selling it. You made the conscious uh, decision to go sell dope for these people. So what does the gang have anything to do when you get caught? Why should you tell on somebody when you have made a, a, a conscious decision to go out here and sell dope? I'm just, uh, I don't get it. Motor mouth shit. And it's the shit they put in your head. This the shit they put in your head, bruh. I ain't bullshitting with you. So now they got you just not responsible for shit. So you out here with nothing wrong when you was out here selling all these keys and shit. You was reaping the benefit. Riding around here in Maseratis and uh, Ferraris and shit. But then you get caught in the tail. Ribbon Carmel Crunch Frap! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Then you get caught and tell. And somehow, they trying to preach like it ain't nothing wrong with that. And it is, bro. You not being accountable for your decisions. Hell yeah, something wrong with that. But they trying to put this shit in your motherfucking head. Motor mouth Monday it is, bro. This is how they trying to screw your vision. So now they gonna have everybody going out here to sell dope knowing they gonna tell because the gang ain't, uh, the streets ain't loyal. No, they not, folks. They not loyal. But by you doing shit like that, but by you doing shit like that, right? You're not loyal. And I guess the moral of this is that's what they trying to get us to do as a whole. They trying to teach us to be motor miles. They trying to teach us to do police shit. They trying to just teach us to do all the fuck shit so they no longer have to do it. That's why they preach all that blasphemy, folks. On some real shit. That's why they preach all that blasphemy. Because they want you to be normal with that shit. They want that shit to be normal. They want telling to become normal. 
They want you running around with your camera re recording crimes and shit. They want that to be normal. You know what I'm talking about? Just like they passed all that bad game. I don't know. It was kind of earlier. This is before I even go. When they had all that, they started that craze with them niggas running around stealing shit. Just snatching shit out of people's hands and shit. Now, once again, bro, how they play with motor mouth shit, fuck. Now, all this shit, this nigga doing the stage like a motherfucker, bro. This nigga ain't doing that shit, bro. You get what I'm saying? This is stage, bro. Who the fuck gonna record a drug deal? Who the fuck gonna record a drug deal, folks? And y'all don't get this, folks. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't be getting this. It just so happened to be a camera here at all these events. These people doing skits like a motherfucker, bro. These people are staging this shit, but they staging some bullshit and got you out here doing it for real. Now you trying to stage some shit that some shit motivated you that was staged from the beginning. Now you out here doing this shit for real, trying to be popular. Get yourself hurt, bro. Get yourself hurt, bro. Now you trying to call the plug and run off with a pound or something, bro. Like this shit, you gonna get yourself killed. Hey, y'all don't think y'all understand that motor mouth shit. And y'all will follow the dumbest shit. You'll follow, you'll do any challenge. <clears throat> but come together with your people. You'll run around here and do all that dumb ass shit, bro. Run around this motherfucker snatching shit out of people's hand if you think that's safe, bro. Don't make no sense. But you won't even use your common sense because you looking at likes and views and all that shit like that shit mean more than y'all than y'all life it do that's how everybody talk now about how much uh and i'm talking about in real life where we're like, hey man i got 5k views and i got five uh what the nigga said this is one of the white people in the store they was talking about how many, uh, I mean, that shit cool, man, if it means something to you, that shit cool. I ain't saying nothing against it, bro. I'm just saying, nigga, some invisible shit should mean more to you than real life. And I do not get that. You niggas are scared to death of going to jail. You niggas are tell on everybody y'all know not to go to jail, but you'll be out, you, you don't take that much, uh, I don't even know what word I'm looking for. But you 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 don't you value that shit more than your life, folks. You scared to death to do something to go to jail, but you out here in the streets playing. You willing to do something to try to make a fucking video to get your ass killed. That don't make no sense, bro, but you scared to go to jail. But you ain't scared to lose your life. That's the dumbest shit. Man, y'all something straight out of the comic book, bro. Up straight out of comic book, man. But it's cool, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's cool. Yeah, nigga, y'all something straight out of comic book, though, folks. Motor Mouth Monday it is. They got y'all talking, folks. You know I said? It's, it's two kind of motor mouth. Because you got some motor mouths that know what they talking about. You just get tired of them talking. But they be real accurate with they... I might be considered one of them. You feel me? Cause I know y'all, everybody get tired for some reason of what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, fuck y'all. That's what I got a mouth for, nigga. You got so many words, nigga, before you leave this motherfucker. I'm gonna try to use up all mine, nigga. I'm gonna try to use up more than all mine, nigga. I'm trying to overdraft my account on words, nigga, that I got before I leave this motherfucker. It's just my point, man. Motor mouth. Y'all will start an unnecessary, uh, unnecessary ass conversation. Now they got everybody in the world just like the bitch. Uh-uh. I can't believe they did that. Man, y'all so motherfucking. I just don't know what's wrong with y'all, bro. I told you, I don't see the desire. 
to be sitting up here acting like I'm actually mad about some nigga or bitch I don't actually fuck with. But that's the state we didn't got to in the world where you could just come up here and start any conversation you want. You ain't got no nigga or no bitch. You just talking about, uh-uh. And you notice everybody, especially you hoes, but everybody, nah, that's some hoes, especially you hoes. When I get a man, I ain't going, bitch, you ain't shut the fuck up. Bitch, get a man first, then see what you can do. Get a man, get a bitch first, then see what you gonna do. All right, that shit gets on my nerves, bro. A bunch of you motherfuckers get on my nerves, bro. I can't lie to you. I can't. I might get on y'all nerves, but y'all get on mine. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Y'all get on my motherfucking nerves. You hoes and you hoe ass niggas, bro. Always sitting around, just motor mouth Monday, folks. Everything you got to say out your mouth is about somebody else, bro. You ain't even got nothing to say about you. You ain't even that interesting to yourself. You ain't got nothing to say about you. Niggas just smacking their lips and rolling their eyes because they done told you this shit is what's popping now. So you running around all day, nigga, motor mouth like Tina Turner, man. Just make yourself look like a bitch. <sighs> That's how you niggas <laughs> got hella soft and feminine now, man. Y'all want to talk about everything, everything a conversation. You trying to make somebody else, nigga, you want to express your feelings, nigga. You trying to get somebody else to understand how you feel. Man, you niggas sound crazy, bro. You niggas they ain't taught y'all how to be victims. Y'all do that shit more than the hoes, bro. And every time you turn around, it's a bunch of people talking about shit that they ain't even got nothing to do with. They got the world talking about hoes and niggas this and y'all crazy with that shit. Y'all is, bro. Y'all don't sit around here and put that thought in people's head. So now you got a motherfucker coming around just want to talk about a relationship. Why don't you go find somebody to be with? That's all you got to do. You just go find somebody to be with. Then you can even, because most of y'all ain't even in the right to have that conversation. Y'all not, bro. Motor mouth Monday. Then you bitches, nigga. <laughs> you bitches as funny as a motherfucker, man. You all as crazy as a motherfucker. Y'all is, man. Because every time y'all come to one of these panels or just talking in real life, y'all always explaining the shit you chose to go through. Y'all always trying to explain some no good ass nigga you claim that then did something to you or something that you picked. And then you act like it ain't nobody's fault that you was running around fucking or you was running around being promiscuous at an early age. And then you want to sit here and y'all just... uh. Y'all just, uh, when it comes to the shit that y'all did, y'all just try to throw that shit away so softly. Oh, I was young. I didn't, well, maybe the nigga was young and he didn't know. You get what I'm saying? Everybody was young, bitch. But you <laughs> you act like you could just use that as an excuse. And y'all don't get that, man. They getting y'all out of that. They getting y'all into, like, you can go do something and just come up and say you was young or you didn't know and, and play the victim. But no, nah, it don't be going like that. It really don't. You knew everything that you wanted to do. You knew everything that you wanted to do. That's why you did it. You feel me? But you'll come up here like you didn't have a part to play in your own life. Like somebody got over on you in your own life. Something straight out of comic book. Motor mouth shit though, man. Y'all just come up here and just talk about a bunch of shit that you don't even know, man. Y'all just sat here and tried to make this this bitch husband mad or this nigga uh this bitch husband mad or this nigga wife mad you feel what i'm saying just came up with a whole bunch of shit that uh them people wouldn't even talking about night house y'all trying to make a motherfucker y'all try to y'all try to make people see y'all way of life the way you look at something so if you view something as disrespectful, everybody else got to view it as disrespectful because that's something you wouldn't go for. That's why your ass lonely right now. You got too many motherfucking rules for somebody else and not none for yourself. And that's why you niggas and you bitch ass, uh, you bitch ass niggas and you hoes. That's why you, you can't find nobody to uh, stick around your miserable ass. You one of the motherfuckers that want to sit there and watch a motherfucker all day, you know what I'm saying? And keep on trying to correct the motherfucker. You ain't even trying to live. You just trying to sit around a motherfucker to have something to complain about. You niggas and you bitches. <laughs> y'all sitting around here listening to all these other niggas who ain't got no bitches and no niggas tell y'all what to do with y'all niggas and y'all bitches. 
Y'all so straight out of a comic book, man. I ain't lying to you, bro. Y'all so straight out of comic book. But the funny thing about all that shit, you, you're going to have to keep on starting conversations. Because you can't talk about yourself. Because if you was just really able to, uh, you had to talk about yourself, the people will see just how lonely you is, bro. You really ain't got nothing to do. So you sit around, you sit around and entertain vi and invisible people all day. Notice everybody in them conversations there's invisible people because you don't hear happy people talking about miserable shit. You don't. You don't see happily married people or just people who happen in a relationship. You don't hear them coming up here tell you what to look out for. <coughs> you don't. You might. No, let me take that back. Because I've seen some people because that's the popular subject. So you be having motherfuckers or you playing number games with you. So you might have a few motherfuckers that is happy. But just sitting up here playing that number game talking about that shit. But can't nobody tell you to look out for shit, bruh. Look out for yourself. That's what the only thing you got to watch. But you ain't going to... Y'all sit around and listen to too much people and too many people, bruh. Y'all not even going to be able to develop your own common sense. Y'all just going to be walking around with the common sense of what other people think. You ain't going to have your own common sense. You're going to be sitting here thinking about what one of these niggas and bitches said on this video. So y'all walking around the world using other people's uh, common sense on your situations. Y'all something straight out of the comic book. I just like if you listen to one of these niggas... I be talking about there is never a time to fight and all that shit. And they get you to believe that. And the nigga walk up to you and slap the shit out you. But you listening to this nigga. You know, violence is never warranted and all that. Other. You keep believing that shit. You'll keep on believing that shit if you want to. No, violence ain't never warranted. Y'all lost, folks. It's like you don't. You don't know who you want to be. Y'all sit around and wait for other people to tell y'all shit all day long. Y'all sitting around waiting to agree with somebody else. Uh, like I said, you don't even come up with your own common sense no more. It's going to be one of them long videos. You know what I'm talking about? You don't. You don't even come up with your own common sense no more, folks. You ain't even proud to be yourself. You feel me? That's why you be so happy. Like, say if Jay-Z was to make you a moderator on his law, nigga, you a faint like a bitch. If Beyonce was to make you a moderator on, you would run around and brag like somebody just gave you $3 million because they told you that that that, that means something for whatever reason. So you would feel like you was somebody being a nobody. I'm telling y'all, y'all let that shit split y'all up. Motor mouth Monday. All that shit means something to y'all. It got you feeling special. A moderator to, man. And I'm finna get up out of here. The moral to this story, though, as a, as a people, we talk too much. Just about the wrong shit, bro. And once again... What difference did it make if the nigga did touch the bitch appropriate? If he didn't touch the bitch appropriate, that ain't your nigga or your bitch. So you shouldn't have a problem about that. You shouldn't put your feelings into somebody else's shit. But y'all actually do that to feel uh, important or whatever. However, talking about somebody else makes you feel important. It does. It makes you feel like you got it. You share the same worldly opinion. You sitting around talking about other people. Maybe that's why you can't find your person. Because you're talking about everybody else's person. 
But what do I know? Only you. Because we've been forest fires, man. And without them right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember. It don't cost nothing just to show a little bit of that little.